Well, I did it. I got myself the AirPods Pro 3. I decided to upgrade. I already have AirPods Pro 1, 2, and now I have 3. And what I wanted to do today was not only unbox this, this is a kind of a different episode that we normally do, but I also wanted to show you how to set it up using all the settings inside of your iPhone to set this up. So what we're gonna do now is open up these AirPods and we're gonna go through it together, just a simple setup of what you get in this box. All right, so I'm using the desk view feature that's built into your iPhone if you use continuity camera. Uh, so I'm using that right now now so uh, by the way if you ever want to do that if you ever want to go down that feature you can go up to the camera right here and you can turn on the desk view and that'll allow you to do that when you open QuickTime player so now I'm going to open up the AirPods. so it's pretty simple there's the tabs that they have easily are you able to break off let's turn this around open it up there we go of course we have the design by Apple in California uh, in here, uh, no stickers anymore, man. They're a little cheap, Apple. Uh, so here's the case for it. It's pretty simple enough. All you gotta do is just unwrap it. Not too hard, not too difficult as far as unwrapping this thing. Um, the case does feel bigger. I can already tell you that based on my other one. I wish I had my other one near me, but I could tell that right away. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open this and then we're gonna do everything on the phone from this point to do that. But if you look inside the box also, they have this part right here, which was all the new foam interiors that they have for this. So what I have learned is that the interior does seem like it's a little smaller like they tell you to go for a smaller size based on the feedback so i'm curious to hear this back uh what size works the best for me i'm going to go with the ones that are already in there which are the mediums and then we have from very large to all the way to very small and i'm going to see which one fits the best for my ear all right so let's go to the phone now and let's actually start setting this up and going through all of the features of that Okay, so we are now in my iPhone, and what we're going to do now is I'm going to open up the AirPods, and we're going to start connecting this. So now the opening has been completed, and now the first thing it normally does is it tries to search for it. And right away, it already picks it up. So all I have to do now is just hit connect. If there are any privacy information on here, I will have to block it out. But otherwise, it is going to set the AirPods up. At the moment, I just put it up. It now asks me to put them both into my ear. So now I'm going to do that. I'm going to put them both in my ear. You can feel the difference right away. I have now done that into both ears. It's now telling me to continue. I have closed the case. They're asking me how do I feel uh, as far as comfortably goes. I can move my head right now. It feels pretty good. I don't feel like it's going to fall out. I do feel like the blurriness of my talking is starting to hit a little bit. But I'm going to say it fits comfortably. Uh, and then they're going to teach me how to do things. So again, you press once to play, press once to pause, accept calls, mute twice to skip forward or end calls. And they're just teaching you all the different things. You can swipe up and down the AirPod as far as like educational wise. So again, they're teaching you a lot of the basics of how to use these AirPods right away. Then you have your listening modes. You can press and hold on either AirPods to switch between noise cancellation and transparency. We are going to talk about that. They're teaching you how to use control center as far as pressing the volume slider to view the noise controls. So you could do this also directly from control center, which is another feature we're going to talk about. Then you have personalized volume. So automatically it adjusts the volume of the media in response of your environment. So you could turn that on now or not. So I'm going to turn it on. And then conversation awareness. When you start speaking, AirPods Pro will automatically lower the media volume, reduce background noise, and enhance your voice. So I'm absolutely going to do that. Let's turn that on. You can now move your head. If you go up, down, left, right, you could tell it to answer or not answer calls. So if you get a phone call and you move your head up and down, that will indicate yes. If you go left to right, that'll be no, and it'll decline the calls. You can also customize gestures in the Bluetooth settings as well. So I'm going to turn that on. Track your workout. So this is a new feature in the AirPods Pro 3, which allows us to start a workout with the fitness app. So if you don't have a watch, and some people don't like wearing a watch, your heart rate can be detected through these devices, which is amazing. And I've heard really good feedback so far on how great it's been. Uh, and you can also use third party workouts as well. So I'm going to hit continue. Live translation. So it'll help you understand what's being said in another language. You simply press and hold both AirPods to start that and doing live translation. I have not done that yet. I would love to talk to somebody who does speak Spanish or another language. I think at work I have that. This is a beta version, by the way. This is not 100% ready yet, but they are using Apple intelligence to do this. I'm going to hit set up live transition. And then you could download the, the actual language that you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to scroll through and I'm going to download two languages I do know so that someone at work could test this out with me. And then I'm going to do that in French. So those are the two I'm going to do. And I'm going to hit continue. And this will download that in there. So some of the hearing 
tests that they have here is to help you out as far as hearing loss goes. I will tell you, I have the AirPods Pro 2, and this is a feature in those AirPods, so you don't have to have this version of the AirPods to do it. But you could take the hearing test. Now, I'm going to not do that because I just did it with the AirPods Pro 2, and that is a feature built in there. But you can do the testing. It does sounds in your ear, and you basically have to touch the AirPod to tell you where it's coming from. And at the end of the day, it'll give you feedback based on how you did. But right now, we're going to say not now. The test takes too long. So here we are, AirPods Pro. We have 25% battery on the AirPods and then the case is 60%. Remember, it's USB-C now, which is great, which is I had the AirPods Pro 2 and the AirPods Pro 1. They were lightning based. So as you can see in the background, the languages are downloading. All right, now that we are in settings, we have the AirPods Pro 3 right there. So I'm going to tap on that. And this is where all the settings come from. So the first thing is name. You can rename these AirPods. It gave me my nickname plus AirPods Pro 3, which are fine. We have listening mode. So right now you can have different listening modes. Right now it's a noise cancellation. But I'm going to go to transparency. And right away, whoa, my ears, they just like popped uh, back to like a normal. I can hear myself really well. And I would love to hear testing between me and my wife talking and other people talking they have adaptive as well so now I can it's adaptive based on the environment right now I'm inside of a, my room and I'm just doing uh, normal things and then we can just do it completely off and if I do that oh my god do I sound really blurred Ooh, I can hear myself like uh, that's like, oh, it's like very blurry. So I'm going to stick with transparency right now. Oh yeah, that's so much better. All right. And it's much better than I will tell you right now than the AirPods Pro 2. I could already hear the difference with that. When it comes to the hearing health, we have the hearing protection. We have the hearing assistance right here. These are the tests that you could do. You could do in a seal uh, to find out if it's a good fit. I also, by the way, when I go to weddings and I film my wedding company, I do use my AirPods Pro as my way of getting those loud sounds from the DJ out, it's really valuable. So I, I tell you right now, if you wanna to go to a wedding, wear your AirPods, it'll help your hearing. That's a safety tip from Apple One to One Training here. So you can test the acoustic seal. So it tells me if like the, the seal is really good. So if I hit continue, basically it's going to put in both of my ears. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. It didn't even work. So it's really interesting how it did this uh, acoustic performance and it didn't even like finish. It was taking too long and I didn't want to bother with that for everybody. So you could do the acoustic seal test if you want to, but I'll be honest, it was not very good. So Apple improved that. Hey, all right. So we have press and hold the AirPods. So what is that going to do? So on the left side of my AirPod, I can decide what I want it to be. So right now it's in listening mode or Siri. Those are your two options. Now I can tell you when it comes to my preference, I like Siri on my left and I like listening mode on my right. So I'm going to do the left side as Siri. And then I'm going to go to the right side, listening mode, and then I can check off which ones I want to do. What can I switch between? So I'm going to do transparency and adaptive uh, as the two. So I'm going to have to hold the stem down to switch between them. Uh, and those are the ones I'm going to want to do. Noise cancellation, I'm, I'm going to use that sparingly, but I, I'm going to manually probably turn that on. Now you have call controls. So when you answer a call, what do you want it to do? So it presses once. It it presses once, it presses twice, it's up to you what you want to do. But answer call is usually not much you're going to change. And then mute and unmute is that you could press it one time or you can do it twice. If you want to end call, you can press it once or press it twice. It's up to you on the preference of that. Uh, what I'm going to do for this is I do like to press it once as the end call. The camera remote. So if you want to actually use your AirPods to control your camera, you can do that. So camera remote is off. You can turn it on by hitting press once. Now it does warn you that you're going to disable a few features that will do that if you decide to use this feature. But I'm going to go into the camera app and then I'm just looking right down at my keyboard. Sorry, it's a little dirty. And I'm going to hit the button once. It now records after pressing my earpod. I'm going to press it to stop. And it does that. So that is how I record it. Now, something to keep in mind is that if your Mac is near you, because those two are kind of working together, it could interfere with that. So something to keep in mind is that you may have to turn your Bluetooth off on your Mac in order for this to work. Because a lot of times, remember, it's switching back and forth and it knows which devices you're using. And because I'm recording directly from my Mac right now, it kind of knew that. Also in camera controls, if you swipe down, this green shows up. And then you have the option of how you want to record your camera with your AirPods in your ear. You have all these different modes as far as recording goes. You have, but one of them is the AirPods. You can tap on the AirPods, and now it's going to use this. And you have voice isolation, so now you can do voice isolation as recording. You could do automatic. You could do standard. 
I will tell you that when I'm working my weddings, this actually becomes a humongous problem. So, because I don't want the AirPods to capture the audio, I want my camera. So, a lot of times I do stick with the iPhone camera just because for my specific circumstance. Going down to audio, again, we could personalize your volume. You could do conversation awareness. You have adaptive audio, so you could customize or slide how it responds to the environment and cancels or allows external things. So you can make a decision on that by sliding left and right. You'll have to play with that in order to really do it. You might want to go outside. If you're in the city, you might want to try that out and just adjust it while you're out there. Conversation awareness, I do like that. I want to be able to have conversations with people uh, with that. Automatic ear detection, I don't know why you wouldn't want to have that on, but I guess uh, in case maybe you don't want it to automatically connect, I would say that. But right now, what the feature is, connect to this iPhone, it actually automatically does that. But there is a new feature that happened, I think it was two, I don't know if it was this OS or the previous, or this o or 18, but you can automatically connect it to this phone or connect it if this phone was the last device you use with them. That way you don't have a problem going between your Mac and your device or your iPad. That way you can change that around if you want. Now, I personally like automatically, but sometimes you could see why that you want to use last connected with this phone. You could turn off personal spatial audio, which I personally like on. You have the translation feature built right in here, the microphone. It says automatically switch AirPods, automatically left or right. So if it's the microphone when you're talking into it, which one does it use? You could tell it to automatically be the left one or the right one, especially if you only want to have one in your ear. Then you might want to say, hey, I only want the right iPod to do it. Pause media when falling asleep, a new feature in iOS 26. So what's great about this is that I do fall asleep a lot and I would love to turn this on because I am sometimes watching stuff or look or listening to stuff and I do keep my AirPods in by accident and I could absolutely utilize this feature. Head gestures, again, they give you an idea of if you want to turn them on or off. You can try them so as a demo, but you can also decide if you want to go side to side for accept or you could do up and down. You could just reverse those. Find My, absolutely, I recommend putting that in your Find My network, absolutely. There are accessibility settings as far as the press speed, so if you want to slow or be the slowest, you can tell it how long you want it to do that. Press and hold duration is the same idea. You could do noise canceling with one AirPod, which is great. You could turn off the loud sound reduction. So AirPods Pro does have a feature where it allows you to reduce the exposure of loud environment noise when you're in transparency or mode, so you can definitely turn that off. Uh, it will no longer protect you from hearing from harmful environments, but again, because I told you I do work as a wedding videographer, this is very helpful. I'm not going to go through these settings, but audio and visual, it allows you to just do make some changes to your headphone combinations. You can do flash for alerts, balancing, voice isolation, things like that. So you can go through these settings if you like. So off listening mode, this is the feature where, if you saw before where it was the off transparency adaptive, I'm going to turn it off because when I had that on, that wasn't really good. Again, you have the seal testing, which didn't really work out for me. And then finally you have the privacy with the heart rate, allow apps to use it for there. So that's all of the AirPods settings. There's so much in this. It's really amazing how much it really is. With the AirPods Pro in control center, if you hold down your finger on here, you can go here and change all the different modes available. And that is the AirPods, everybody. So I hope you guys got a lot of educational opportunity out of this. Hope it helped you answer a few questions with your AirPods and specifically with the AirPods Pro 3 features. Obviously, listening is a very hard thing, a very subjective thing. But I will tell you that already I can tell by the transparency mode without listening to music, this sounds tremendous. And I don't know if it's going to be, I don't know if I'm wearing the right earbuds yet or not i'll find out throughout the time but i hope you go through these settings and change them around and i hope i gave you some educational tools that you can utilize with the airpod pros thank you very much everyone and i love every single one of you